Hey guys, this is Veron from Secret of the Stars, and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, the angle is a little bit different. I'm using that like spider tripod thing that vloggers use when they want to vlog around. And I wanted to test it out. I tested it out for like a different video somewhere. I'm not really sure where I did it. And I still haven't bought a light to counteract the shadows, which I will do sometime soon, I guess. But for now, I felt like I wanted to play with it. And I thought that it was a good angle for this size of a drawing. And we'll just see how it goes. I'll play with it and its position some other time soon. So the drawing for today was rather chill. I wanted to just not really think much about what I wanted to draw. I didn't even do any thumbnails or research or reference. I just took the pencil to the paper and just started drawing. So the things that I draw a lot are humans and characters, which as you have would have seen in my videos, is not surprising. So I drew a head and like the outline and the guides for the face and then I thought I wanted to draw Arthur from Fate Grand Order. And specifically Arthur Pendragon, the male one, Saber from Fate Prototype. And I want to make the distinction because if you don't know Fate or you only know very little about it, you would know that Arthur Pendragon in Fate Stay Night and the other, like she's the mascot of, sor of sorts, was gender bended into a female character. But if you're slightly updated, you would know that there's a prototype version where Arthur is male and that was like the very first story that Nasu wrote for Fate but just never finished and it became sort of the basis for uh, the visual novel that was released in the 2000 something. So yeah, um, I loved that. I love his design, I love his character, and when the prototype OVA came out, I just loved him so much. So when he appeared in Fate Grand Order, the mobile game, I just rolled for him so much. And luckily, I got him on like the third or fourth roll for him, so that's great. I have him on the Japanese account, I'm just waiting for him to come over on the English version, and I pray that I get him, because I will be so sad if I don't get him. So, I just wanted to draw a casual Arthur Pendragon. Uh, he's not on his armor or anything, or even in the clothes that he would be seen in the OVA. I just gave him a hoodie that would sort of be patterned off of his armor. So his armor is white, blue, and like really dark bluish-black colors. So there's these ge geometric designs on his best plate, I think. So I just incorporated that into the jacket and... Just went on it. <laughs> so I guess for some little audience interaction, uh, if you know what fate is or if you play the game, who's your favorite servant? And maybe even tell me which version of fate you like the best. So do you like the visual novel? Do you like maybe the anime or the unlimited blades work unlimited blade works? affordable anime, or maybe you like Fate Extra, or maybe you like Fate Grand Order the most, or something like that. For me, my favorite servants, the top five would probably be um, Archer Emiya, um, Artoria Saber, the original one, this Arthur Pendragon Saber, the male one, David Archer is honestly a favorite, and Okita Soji. So I really like a lot of the Sabers and the Archers, to be honest. Among the Lancers, Hmm. Is it, I like DR Muid, though he's kind of weak in Fate Grand Order. <laughs> um, I like Kuhulang also. He's like super. He's a super best bro. Among the casters, hmm. Caster, huh? Maybe yes. Maybe yes. Like people don't like her a lot in Fate Stay Night, but she's so cute and she deserves happiness. <laughs> Who is my favorite caster? Tama was good too. Uh, if you played extra, Tama was good too. Um, so, Rider. Rider, huh? I like using Ushiwa Kamaru a lot in Grand Order, even though she's not a spectacular servant. She's pretty cool. Francis Drake's pretty strong, and her character is cool as well. And uh, Assassin would probably be. Serenity's. Oh, Serenity. I don't have her. She's not in the NA server yet, but she is in JP. So among the ones in the NA server, 
honestly, what's his name? Um, and I forgot his name. Good job. <laughs> what's his name again? Uh, I forgot. The guy with the guillotine. <laughs> Other than him, who's an assassin I use a lot? I, I use Carmilla a lot because she's strong, but uh, <laughs> she's okay. Um, Berserker. Hmm. Oh, Asterios is cute. I, I like Asterios, to be honest. He's not the top class Berserker, but Asterios is cool. And then, yeah. Those are pretty much my, I think, my favorite servants. Um, they're not really set because I tend to cycle through my servants a lot, so when I want to bond them, I tend to bring them along in my party. And I also have a sort of a goal to eventually full ascend all of them, though that might take forever since a lot of characters are being added. And after the current event, which is the Fate Zero Axel Order event, oh, I got Kiritsugu and Iris Veal as well, so those are two new servants to have to level up, so I don't think goal is possible, to be honest. Oh, and man, Camelot's gonna be open soon, man! So I also have to roll for the Knights of the Round Table. <laughs> and if you know my channel, I do art occasionally. I had a series that started in 2016 that I was making a drawing for each of the Knights of the Round Table. So I've done Mashu, Artoria, Gawain, and Lancelot. So I still have to do Pediver, Chestan, and Agravain, I think. Did I miss anyone? Oh, I think those are, those are the only ones left. And maybe, maybe a full art for Arthur and... I guess the answer at Claudia, I'm not really sure either. So I need to finish that before Camelot, or maybe I'll make the last night as Camelot launches, so I hope I get it by then. <laughs> I hope I finish rather that's used by then. Oh man, so at this part that you're watching right now, I made a mistake in my coloring process because I was not as used to, to this hot press paper as I was before. I've been using colored pencils a lot, so I feel like my techniques have dulled just a little bit. So I put this really huge plot of burnt sienna on Arthur's nose, which was supposed to define his cheek and nose area. But it was so intense, I tried to water it down, it didn't really work or dilute. I tried adding white to try and dilute it, but I felt like it made it worse, so I just wiped that white off. And my last resort was to get the basic skin tone again and just put it on top of that smudged up area. I think that part worked because when it dried, it seems that for this particular band of hot press, which is the Fabriano Artistico hot press, um, the colors flatten a little bit and they, um, I don't know, like when they dry, they're not as, I guess, vibrant or pop as when it's in cold press because I noticed with the cold press that I use like the layering and the color are more or less the same as when they were first put on wet. With the dry, with this um, hot press it felt like it was a bit more like the color shifted a little bit and it blended a little bit more. I'm not sure if it's because I added that skin tone or if it's because the paper itself did that. But in the end the mistake wasn't super visible so thank goodness for that. <laughs> So really quickly, I'm doing a golden background for him just because I didn't really know what I wanted to do for his background since it was an unplanned piece. So I thought of doing the light from Excalibur instead since any Excalibur user uh, usually emits a golden light when they, you know, use their special attack. So that was a good background for Arthur. And I was just careful not to have it blend with his hair because his hair is also blonde but like slightly orangey shadow so yeah it was pretty fun it was chill i did this piece pretty quickly but it really helped me relax and unwind a little bit from a sort of stressful week to be honest but that was good and i hope you guys enjoyed if you enjoy like fan art or anime art or just art in general traditionally or digitally uh feel free or please to consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed this video please give it a like as well um, we're jumping to the preview right now, and I hope you'll follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt as well, because that's where I post my works, and I'll see you around. <laughs>